Hello, it's me again. Um, another little video just to uh, those people that are thinking of taking up the uh, sport of oval racing. This is another aspect the uh, the MMRD hot rod, one eighth scale. Um, same thing, uh, a lot lighter than the um, uh, stock car, but um, this is basically it before I put any paint on it it's uh, nothing spectacular I'm uh, I'm keeping all of the windows solid because uh, if you start cutting them out there's not going to be a lot of uh, strength left on it likewise at the back I've uh, just drilled a lot of holes but uh, this is just an insight of what uh, of what a hot rod looks like for those that are thinking of taking up the sport I'm trying to do everything one handed here yet again. Take the body off, uh, peep inside. Um, very simple, but yet again, but uh, this time I've built the uh, the car on a budget um, simply because I didn't have a lot of money. But I'll go around the bits and bobs that uh, are on it. Obviously, you've now got a, uh, a simple pan chassis which is basically a sheet of aluminium that's been machined and cut to suit similar front end to the stock car um, nothing to be said there really um, part of the budget um, well part of the budget was uh, to get as cheap an engine as possible this is an SEG 21 uh, from Hobby King um, retails at about £45 um, so you can't get a lot cheaper than that um, the exhaust is an Ansman um, that came with uh, everything the spring the brackets everything you need to put it on obviously it has to be butchered a little bit to uh, in, in order for it to fit on uh, the chassis because uh, the exhaust actually exits out through the floor and um, I had to re-drill and recite the uh, mounted on the front but that's quite simple servos this time i found that the save ox on the uh, um stock car were too sensitive really so i've got a couple of cheapies here i think they're about 10 or each sort of okey pokey 2000s i can't remember what the names were but uh, that's what they are anyhow um i'll turn it around not a lot so a great deal to see um yeah filter i think that was about three quid uh, another eBay acquisition um, unlike the stock car on the hot rod you've got a, a rear brake um, quite efficient really um, obviously the tank is the same uh, spring mounted um, everything's mounted in the box um, radio uh, transponder battery everything is in there so it's nicely sealed out of the way Whacking great big uh, foam bumper because uh, you haven't got the uh, the protection of the big steel um, chassis that the stock car's got. So this is hopefully going to take a bit of uh, a bit of the hammering. So that's about it really for the uh, for the hot rod. Um, the suspension's just the same, um, but as I say, a heck of a lot lighter. But um, a nice little car, um, available for MMRD. I, I, uh, I think it was about £168, I think they are now, for the basic kit. That's without the engine and radio, of course. But to unlock the stock car, I had to uh, build this one from uh, component level, whereas I got lazy with a stock car and uh, got it with the engine. But there you go. Hope that helps a few people that are thinking about uh, hot rod racing. Bye.